depreciation assets that serve longer than a year are termed as fixed assets these include machinery vehicles and equipment the value of an asset keeps decreasing due to usage and lapse of time this reduction in the book value of the asset is called depreciation if depreciation is not taken into account fixed assets will be overvalued and the balance sheet will not show the true and fair position of the business charging depreciation on fixed assets is a legal requirement Jay Industries purchased a desktop computer for 50000 rupees they used it for 5 years and then sold it for 5000 rupees hence the value of the computer has reduced or depreciated by 45000 rupees in 5 years there are various reasons for the depreciation of fixed assets wear and tear of fixed assets is a continuous process with usage and due to natural factors fixed assets often deteriorate in their technical and physical capabilities existing assets can become outdated or obsolete due to technological advancements or due to changes in the market demand on the expiry of legal rights the book value of certain fixed assets such as patents copyrights and lease can expire the value of assets can also be reduced due to abnormal factors such as accidents fires or earthquakes let us see an example of the need to of the need to calculate depreciation on fixed assets Lakshmi Oil Corporation purchased an oil filtering machine for fifty thousand rupees and spent ten thousand rupees on its installation. It is expected that the machine will work for the next five years. This is a capital expenditure, and it will facilitate in earning revenue for the next five years. It will not be fair to charge the entire cost of the machine. against the revenue of the year in which it was purchased therefore the value of the machine that has reduced due to its usage and lapse of time is charged against the revenue of the respective year hence lakshmi oil corporation should charge 1/5 of the cost of the machine as depreciation every year There are several factors that affect the amount of depreciation. The total cost of an asset is the cost of purchase and other expenses such as installation charges, taxes and wages. The estimate hence lakshmi oil corporation should charge 1/5 of the cost of the machine as depreciation every year there are several factors that affect the amount of depreciation the total cost of an asset is the cost of purchase and other expenses such as installation charges taxes and wages The estimated useful life of an asset is the duration of use of the asset. Finally, the residual or scrap value of the asset also affects the amount of depreciation. This is the value that is expected to be realized on the asset's sale after its estimated life.